howdy guys and what's up and welcome back to 112 Operator. We are hopping back in the hot seat today, getting ready for our next shift and I'm trying to figure out what we should add. You guys know the last episode, the end of it at least, got super, super crazy. Honestly, it was a little bit overwhelming. I feel like we really needed another ambulance. So I'm gonna get a transport ambulance here. I can't tell the difference between these two. Uh, apart from the fact that this one has one more on the, the plus sign, which I'm assuming is a good thing. I think that might be one more person it can take. I'm not sure, but we're, we're gonna go ahead and buy one of those. We're gonna recruit a couple of drivers. I mean, we'll, we'll get a, a medic and another good medic. All right, we're gonna spend, spend a little bit of extra money on medics, that looks good. Let me see, can we afford something else that's new? We could get another police bike or a medical response bike. Now it's interesting, you guys can see the bikes are actually quicker. They can hit 180 on their speed, whereas the cars or the ambulances can only hit 100 or 150. Let's save our money. I, I don't, the, the bikes are, are kind of not very worth it at times. So I, I, I think we're good. Let's start it up. Here we go, let's get into it. So I'm gonna move, uh, we're gonna put a bike, a bike on the damaged road sign over there. We're gonna move a bike up here. We're gonna move a car up here. We're gonna move these guys more towards the center. We're gonna move this guy towards the center. Maybe this guy over here. Uh, this guy's probably good where he is. Let me move this guy over here. This guy over here. Alright. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot here. Nothing, nothing too crazy happening. We've actually got a speeding incident down here, so we're gonna get one of our cops after that. We've got a, a medical incident. Gonna be able to, uh, send an ambulance over there. Fall from the stairs. So that's good that we're gonna have somebody on that. Got a loud party over here. I guess we'll send one of our cops on that. Send this guy back over here. Always hate to take up some of our, uh, resources for, for silly things like parties, but I guess people are complaining, so we gotta be able to take care of it. Heart attack, uh-oh, probably gonna wanna send an ambulance after that. I don't know if the bike is gonna be able to, to do anything. I'll send the bike first so he can get there and take care of him. And then by the time the ambulance gets there, hopefully we're gonna have done enough that they're gonna be good to go to the hospital. Looks like we have family abuse over here, so we're gonna send a cop and an ambulance at the same time. I'm gonna move this cop over here, move this fire truck over here, move, move this guy to this, and then this guy can stay here. All right, looking looking pretty good so far. Looks like we've got drug use in a public place. I'm gonna send, actually, we're gonna have to send a, a, a cop after that. Uh, Cause the bike cop is not gonna be able to, to take those guys in. Burglary over here. This guy just got done with his, his case. That's gonna be perfect. We have a new call coming in. Doesn't sound like an emergency. Um, Where is this happening? Send someone before he creates any other abomination. <laughs> what? What is he? What does he have a permit? Are you sure they don't have a permit? Yes, I am. It's a rascal who doesn't even know how to paint a swastika properly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, who does that, man? All right. I'm gonna hang up. You're wasting my time. So we're gonna send a cop over there. They're gonna go take care of the 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 silly vandalizer. Got a weird acting person, possibly carrying a gun. We're gonna send one of our cops over there. Looks like we've got a new situation where we're gonna need cops and an ambulance on family abuse. Okay, things are starting to kinda, kinda pay. Oh, shots fired! Send another cop. We probably should have sent two cops on them right away, if you want me to be honest. Red light offense over here, we're sending a cop on it. We're gonna send, uh, we're gonna send this, this, this guy over here. We're gonna bring this guy up here. Looks like this cop took care of it, so we can send this guy back. Police unit needed over here. He's already on the way. Case resolved. Fire truck coming over here. I'm gonna send our bike cop over here. All right. Looking okay so far. Nothing, nothing we can't... Uh, another police unit needed? We might need more than one. So I'm gonna send those guys over there. Looks like we've got uh, a new medical incident. A stabbing. Heavily injured. All right, we're gonna send our, our ambulance over there. That is not a good thing. This guy's going back to base. We've got diabetic shock over here. I'm gonna send our bike EMT on it. These guys are going back to base. Let's bring these guys back. Bring this guy back maybe over here. We've got a car crash. We're gonna need a fire engine as well as a uh, an ambulance. So we're gonna get them as, as quickly as we possibly can do this. This has just been like a steady flow all throughout the day so far. Nothing nothing too crazy yet. I'm gonna send our bike cop after this guy. He could take care of a speeder all day. Looks like we've got a missing person search over here so we can kind of send some cops after them. Drug dealer? Oh shoot, dude, new call coming in. Hello, I'm 
coming from a school at one of our trainees just stabbed himself with a sword. Stabbed himself with a sword? Where? Did he stab himself? At the practice hall at, at I told you. How's his body part? All right, his left elbow on the inside. Okay, I'm sitting in an ambulance. Sitting in an ambulance. Okay, anything else? Raise his arm, immobilize, put some pressure. Probably put some pressure. some pressure to the wound. Yes, uh, we're already doing that. And right, raise his arm so the blood doesn't like go okay. through it. Sounds reasonable. John, put your hands up. Above your head. <laughs> you should immobilize his shoulder. Immobilize? With what? We're giving some good advice. Uh, I'm going to say a belt. Use one of your belts. Okay, we'll do so. Okay, then. That's all. Okay, thank you. We will be waiting. Beautiful work, man. That's what I'm talking about. We got family abuse. We got a, a, a missing person over here. Looks like the search finished. We were able to get him. Police unit needed needed over here, so we're going to send the cops. This guy's going back to base. Case resolved, so I'm going to bring this guy maybe back over towards here. We've got a new fire incident, so we're going to send them. My goodness, dude, this is crazy. Transport needed from the cops over here, so we're gonna send this guy. Nope, we can't go there, so we're gonna have to send this guy. Bro, med unit needed over here. Everybody's yelling at me right now. Please stop. We've got an aggressive drunk man, so we're gonna need this guy to go over here once he's once he's done. We've got a fire happening over here, so we're gonna send this fire engine after it. This guy's going over there. We need another police unit over here. We're gonna bring him there. We have a transport needed here. We have a medical issue over here. Bro, this is this is just insanity. What's taking this missing person thing so long? I don't understand it. I guess they're they're tending to her. Okay, we're good. Case resolved there. We're gonna send a med unit over there. Let's start spreading our cops back out so that we don't have all of them all in the same spot. I'm gonna move this guy up over here. This guy can come down here. This guy can... Escaping... What? An escaping grapist? That's not good. We definitely want to go get him. What's the other thing? Red light offense? All right, we're going to send this guy... Uh, I think this guy will be able to catch him. He'll, he'll be able to catch him. Shoot. Wheelie bin on fire. We're going to have to send the cops and a fire truck after that. We got a new call coming in. emergency? Hello? I would like to report something. This guy killed someone. What would you like to report, sir? Can you tell if this person is alive? He's not injured. He's dead. Definitely dead. How are you so sure? There's a hole. A hole in his head. What? There's no way he'd survive something like this. Uh, where are Can you? you? Specify where you are. Yes. I see a big container for a waste like him. Um, did you know, you know him? The victim? Are we just stalling him till we get the location? I think that's what we might be doing. I'm sending an ambulance immediately. Please, stay where you are. Oh, I will. Sir? <laughs> what? Sir! Got a new fire issue over here. We've got pretty much everybody is constantly moving at this point in time, dude. This is not good. I'm gonna move this... Move this EMT. Actually, no, we're gonna have to move him over here. We have a cyclist hit by a car. We're gonna send this guy over here. We've got a car on fire over here. The, the trucks are taking care of it. Police transport's needed over here. All right, so we're gonna send an actual cop. We have a store looting over here with a gun, so that's not good. We might wanna be able to send some backup if we can. So I'm gonna send some backup. We've also got a speeder over here, which we might be able to maybe send like this guy on. We're doing okay, it's just a little bit overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. This is just so crazy. Fire alarm, we're sending the, the fire trucks. We need more police. This missing person thing has been, Nicole Clark has been injured for so long. She's taking up one of our one of our officers that we desperately need. What's happening over here? Looks like the cyclist is almost taken care of. As soon as these two kind of get wrapped up, that's gonna be good. Dude, they've been they've been taking up a lot of resources. I'm not gonna lie. Looks like we got the looters here. We had a couple of them. It seems as if everything is kind of cleared up a little bit. I think that might be the end of our shift. <laughs> this game is just. It, it, I hope you guys can keep up because I have a hard time keeping up sometimes. Dude, we got a hundred percent on that. Let's see. Do we get paid? much we got 59k i'm gonna get another patrol car beautiful we're gonna add we've got sixteen thousand dollars we're gonna add oh she's got a hundred percent shooting accuracy and 56 percent driving 90 and 90 i'm gonna grab him and then 85 and 78 82 yeah 85 78 nancy you are on the job girl you'll love to see it all right here we go back into it so we've got a knife assault 
We're going to send this guy and this guy. We're going to start moving these guys in so that they're all branched out evenly. We've got a suicide attempt by medicines. So we're going to send, uh, we're going to send, a, actually, we're probably going to need one of these big boys along with a fire truck. Let's move this fire truck in closer. Move this car maybe down here. This guy over here. This guy a little bit closer over here. We've got a fire over here, so we're gonna send this. Uh, let's send this guy on this, and then this guy, we can go back here. Aggressive drunk man, we're gonna go cook him and book him, baby. Let's go put him in cuffs and take care of business. Nope, speeding. We're gonna go take care of him real quick. No big deal, we got this. Got a missing person over here, so we're gonna go send the cop after it. We're gonna bring this guy down here. This guy's going back to base. Psychiatric problem over here, so I guess we can send, can send this guy. Let's try to take care of the missing person. I don't like the missing person thing, dude. That's honestly, it's it's kind of scary. We want to put him into to every box and make him sit in those boxes, I'm pretty sure. Is that how this works? When he spends a little bit of time in those boxes, he's he takes care of it. We have another missing person over here. Pocket over here, so we're going to send this cop after him. Heat stroke over here. We're sending an ambulance. They're going to take care of that. Looks like we did get the pickpocket. We got a phone call coming in. What's your emergency? Where you at, sir? Where you at, sir? I need to know where you're at right now. Where? Where are you, sir? I need to know your an your your address. The address, sir. It's down here. All right, get an ambulance there. Hurry up on the double. Do you know CPR? Do you know CPR? What? A bolt, you say? It's the... It's a what? What? All right, try to stay calm, sir. Just breathe. I'll send the ambulance. Calm? Okay, calm. I am calm. Yes, calm. Calm. I'm sending an ambulance and the police. Please, stay at the crime scene. Hurry, please. Hurry. What is it talking... What is it talking about? This the same murderer. This guy's out of water, so we're gonna have to send somebody else. This guy's gonna have to go back to base to get some water. Let's send him back here. Uh, we've got a uh, a shoplifting issue over here. We need a, a a med unit over there, so we're gonna send this guy. We're gonna send we're gonna send this guy to a gunshot wounds. My goodness, dude, we need cops and a fire truck to go to the wheelie bin that's on fire. So we're gonna do that. We've got drug smuggling over here. Is that your boy over in West Dead Town? My goodness, they're on to us. I guess are these missing? Oh, these missing person searches are not going well. We we did, we did not we did not do a very good job with that. I'm not gonna lie. We've got a vehicle theft down here. We're gonna go take care of that. We've got a new a new trapped in elevator issue. So we're gonna send the fire brigade. These guys are in pursuit. This case is resolved. We gotta get these missing person searches taken care of. Dude, this is just, it's so big, it's so tedious. We've gotta go through every freaking grid on this to be able to take care of them. Shoot, we've got uh, we've, we've got a vehicle theft over here, so we're gonna go take care of that. Got a new incident down here, gonna be able to send our, uh, send our EMT on it. We've got a mad driver and a vehicle theft. Dude, we don't have enough cops. Search is finished, all right, now you go after him. Beautiful work. Now let me see what else is here. We're gonna we're gonna send these guys through here. We have speeding happening. We we can't even we we can't take care of all of these things. I'm gonna send this guy after the mad driver. Bro, what is happening? One two. What's your emergency? Um, hello. I'm one of the developers of the software that you are currently using. Can we talk now? Absolutely not. Is there an emergency? Uh, no, no, uh, no emergency. I'm just interested in feedback. I have no time for that. Goodbye. We got a wheelie bin on fire, so we're gonna send a cop and a fire engine after that. We've got this guy speeding, so we're gonna go take him on. I guess we'll send this guy over here to go help with the missing person that we still haven't found yet. This guy's under attack, we, dude. We we've got, we gotta send we gotta send a, a friendly after him to go help him out. I'm gonna have to bring this guy over, dude. There's another aggressive drunk man over here. We just don't have enough cops. We've got a drug dealer over here. Fire truck needs to go over here. We've got a damaged fire hydrant. We've got a, this guy going after a drug smuggler. We're going to bring this guy up here. We need a drunk driver accident over here. Bro, I, I literally cannot breathe. 
This is this is so there's there's no way we're getting everything. There's a loud party, I'm not worried about that. We should probably get the aggressive drunk man and we should continue searching for the missing person. There's also a bribery attempt over here. Drug overdose over here. I would imagine they're probably gonna need one of the big boys. I'm gonna send this guy after the speeder. This guy's going back to base. Search is finished. We're gonna send this guy after him. We're gonna send this guy after the aggressive drunk man. We got a new call coming in. One one two, what's your emergency? Uh, what's your address? You? I, I need the address. It's... We're in the bathroom. Okay, what happened? What I'm happened gonna send cops and EMTs. She's unconscious. It looks like she's taking her pills. Oh no. All of them. We had a fight. Oh no. Uh, does she have a pulse? Is she breathing? Does she have a pulse? She's breathing. But her breath is very shallow and fast. I'm not sure. But I think her pulse is weak. Put in the recovery position. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to sure say she it. doesn't get worse. Do you know the recovery position? Yes. One second. Is that just on the side so they don't, they don't like puke in their mouth and choke on it? What, what, what now? Make you her vomit. Vomit to make sure there are no pills left in her stomach and wait for the ambulance. Check up on her all the time. Uh, the ambulance should be there soon. She's going to be fine. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Hurry up. I don't know if that's good advice or not, but we're, we're just going to go for it. I guess we'll, we'll see what happens. All right. Hopefully, hopefully everything's going to be okay there. Uh, we've got a new issue. Wheelie bin. Why are there so many bins that are, that are getting on fire? Drunk driver instant. We've got a speeder over there. We literally, I just, I, I don't have enough vehicles. There are so many issues. I, I don't, I don't have enough vehicles. We've got, we've got more missing persons. This, this is outrageous. This guy's working on power in the area, but there's also trash on fire next to him. That sounds like my, my job here. Literally trash on fire is my job as an operator. All right, that's taken care of. Walls tagging, we're gonna send a cop after that, try to get an arrest. I'm gonna bring this EMT and this fire guy over here. We're gonna put this guy back. He just re-upped on his water to hopefully be able to take this down. I'm gonna send this guy over here. We've got drinking in public up here along with a vehicle theft. We're gonna send that guy after the vehicle theft. Uh, this guy's gonna go to drinking in public as soon as he's done with his issue, which is almost completed. Police transport's needed, so we're gonna send this guy over here. We're gonna send this guy in the middle. We've got a fire alarm to send the fire truck after. This guy's out of water again, so we're gonna send him back to base so we can refill up on water. Actually, you know what? Let's let's just flip flop these two and they'll they'll swap jobs since this guy has a lot more water than the other one. I'm gonna send this guy after the speeder. We've got an aggressive aggressive man over here oh shoot we gotta keep searching for the missing person though so we're gonna send this guy after the aggressive drunk man we've got drinking in public up here so we're gonna send them after that we gotta worry about the missing person over here so let's keep on searching as quickly as we possibly can look how far you can zoom in here dude this is kind of nice you can actually almost get into a 3d view i haven't zoomed in this far before all right we found that there. Now we need to f help the guy find the, the source of the power outage. So this guy's gonna finish up here. They're gonna fix the broken power line. Uh, this cop is finishing up here. Uh, the injured person, James. We're gonna go ahead and send an ambulance after them so they can help out as soon as the cops are done. Obviously the EMTs are gonna be a little bit better at that than the cops are. Uh, drinking in public over here. Looks like these guys are getting arrested. So we just gotta wait on that. And I think that is the end of our second shift, dude. The, I, I'm just getting overwhelmed. There, there's so much happening. So much. It, it makes it so hard. I, I hope we did all right. Total 45 incidents resolved. We have 32 in jail, 10 fines issued, eight hospitalizations, zero preventable deaths, 8 did 12, 109 reputation, 83.21 efficiency. Let's see here. Uh, vehicle theft, we missed, it timed out. Uh, missing person with Alzheimer's. Yeah, there was there was one of them that we just didn't finish the search. Um, that 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 makes me kind of sad. <laughs> just ventured off into who knows where. Uh, aggressive drunk man timed out as well. We missed him. Unconscious girlfriends. I wasn't sure if it was the right call to have her throw up. I guess it wasn't. We probably should have moved her into the recovering position and then just ended it at that. The operator instructed the car to make his girlfriend vomit, which should never be advised if the victim is unconscious. My bad. It was solved, though. She survived. She didn't die. But I guess that's something good to know. There's an another missing person that we missed. Everything else seems to be good. All right. So... 
if you or one of your friends, well, I guess you won't really be able to do it. If you ever find somebody else unconscious, don't try to make them puke, no matter what it is. We learned something new today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.